Hi, Ballet Universe team. You are here with me today to train your extensions. We are going to emphasize on the psoas muscle, which is um, one of the main muscles responsible for us being able to lift our legs up high. We will combine the work of the lower body and the upper body, okay? We will only work on the floor, so go ahead and pick a comfortable mat. Place yourself down and simply your legs up, okay? So here we will have the knees extended, the feet will be pointed. We will go and perform eight rotations into a turnout. After the eighth one, we will start with simply um, lowering one leg halfway down and bringing it back up and then alternatingly changing and repeating the same movement for about eight of these each side. Then we're gonna go and simply open them. They are again fully stretched halfway into a split and then put them back in, emphasizing on through the inner thighs. Then we're gonna go and repeat almost the same sequence from the first opening, slightly diagonal, all the way down. The other leg is into a half passe bring it up, alternately changing the other side, and then about eight each side. After we finish the eight here, we'll go and open the legs all the way down into a split, Don't put them all the way up so that they comfortably fall into the hip joints, rather put them all the way out, but exactly sideways. So no up pointing to the upper corners, but sideways pointing to the walls. This are going to be eight, and then we're going to combine them with eight of the upper body. Then we're going to remain down with the legs, and we're only going to go and work with the upper body, okay? Each exercise goes on for eight repetitions. Good? Fine, let's go. Legs up, straight knees. Remember, whenever you're lowering a leg, you're exhaling. Whenever you're coming up, you are inhaling. You're only inhaling with the chest, okay? You're lower back is always down on the ground no matter what good all right ready ready let's go turn out turn out again exhale exhale fully straight knees absolutely pointed feet last three last two last one good keep the under or halfway into the diagonal come back halfway into the diagonal. Don't rush too much. You want to keep your full control of the lower back. Your shoulders are also always down. Continue being active with your breathing. So exhale, 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 exhale. Give me just one repetition for each side each side okay come here straight knees pointed feet halfway into the other second split come back chi come back straight knees full under or pointed feet exhale <sighs> join the inner thighs together exhale join the inner thighs together again exhale lower back down in down in keep the under or all the time last chi last one Good. Give me the diagonal ones all the way down. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. You see my knees pointing up, not all the way out on the oar, okay? Don't torture yourself. Now we do not need this. We only concentrate on the full and the oar of the working leg. Continue the exhaling and the inhaling. <sighs> nice. The ground with your toes so that you also have the beautiful shape of your foot with the working leg can give me three repetitions for each side last one each side right here okay good again full turnout give me the splits down and down and up. Don't come up into the diagonals. Not for this one. Keep them fully into 
Dr. Alice Gunch, which is pointing out to the walls. Yeah, let's go for last four inner thighs in, three inner thighs in, two, keep exhaling and inhaling. Last one. Okay, everyone, we're gonna incorporate the upper body. We have four, feel free to point to the upper corners of the room now. Reach the maximum split. Give me last chi. Give me last one. Okay, give me one more freeze in here, just the upper body. One, chi, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend your knees, collect your legs. Embrace the knees. Have an inhale, have an exhale. Let your hip joints rest for a second. Let the deep rotators around the hip joints rest for a second in this position. Now, come up and give me a stretch into the turn in position, okay? Beautiful, turn in this knees either pointing up or Inwards, and remaining here for about five, six seconds. Ooh, nice, let's change the side. Ah, oh, good, try to have your lower back not um, released, but rather active. This is gonna react into the hip joint right here. Keep both of your butt cheeks or both of your sitting bones on the ground. Nice, it's a very good deep stretch in a position or in the opposite direction of the direction of work of the muscles. Good, now they are rested and they are ready for two more sets. And remember, after each set, go ahead, have a breath in, breath out, a second of a rest, then stretch internally, not with the turn out, but with the turn in, and then you repeat the next set okay go ahead depending on your level of um, fitness of course the more advanced dancers can go ahead and repeat this combi um, four to five times but for those who are not too advanced or are having too heavy schedule go ahead and just remain at the three sets